What's up everybody? Noah Kaser back here for a video I didn't think I'd be making. So me and my friend Matt went to go and see a movie. Sorry, I'm still chewing on, on some popcorn here. We went to go and see a movie. We were going to see Downhill. Well, then we talked about it and, and we're like, you want to know what? We're in the mood for a little bit of a horror movie. So we decided to go and see Fantasy Island. I heard it was bad, but good gob. I heard they ever walk out of movies. I leaned over to him and I said, if this doesn't get good soon, would, would you just like to leave? And he says, sure. Because he wasn't enjoying it at all. The movie started and as soon as they get on the island, I'm, I'm like, this isn't bad. Then we get to the comedic relief. You get to the actual stories. And you stop caring because you don't get to know these characters enough. And you don't see what actually happens to them when they're younger. So why should I feel bad that they are... Why should I feel bad that they are... Uh, or... Why should I feel great about them getting revenge or living out their fantasies of either getting married to, to the man of their dreams that they've been running away from. Why should I care about uh, Lucy Hale, who, which, by the way, looks so gorgeous in this movie. She's so talented. I love her and everything. When this comes out on DVD and Blu-ray, I, I will brand it, and I will watch all the way through, but I knew that my buddy was not enjoying it, we went to this movie to save time, which w was a bad decision because I'll get into that in a little bit. But Fantasy Island is one of the worst movies I've seen in a couple of years. We hardly, m me and my buddy hardly ever leave the movies. The last movie I think we walked out of was Tyler Perry's Acrimony. But that was also due to a certain circumstance and to a certain reason that had 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 to do with uh, some per personal reasons. Uh, I'll say that. And the Emoji Movie. This movie was so bad. You had people in there who were idiots. People who took their six-year-olds into this movie. And one... one w within the first ten minutes. Ten to fifteen minutes. A girl is in, in in her bra and panties. And you can definitely tell that this was supposed to be an R-rated movie. But they wanted to make this a PG-13, cut it down, trim it down to be a PG-13 to make as much money as I possibly could because they knew that they weren't going to make as much money with an R-rated movie. But they didn't care about making a good movie. An R-rated horror movie can do well. Look at Ed in It Chapter 2. R-rated movies do do well. Look at Joker. Look at... Uh, it. It 2. Deadpool. Deadpool 2. R-rated movies do well. 1917, for gosh sakes, is making bank at the box office. This movie is probably the worst thing in theaters. I didn't think that I was going to hate this movie. I'm not going to review it. This is not a review because I didn't watch the whole movie. I walked out. That's why I'm titling this video. I walked out of Fantasy Island. Also, I have a little bit of a qualm, but I am going to save that for, for for my Facebook. It's it's a little bit of a joke, but still. This movie is awful. It is an awful movie. This movie should not have been... No movie needs to be made, but this movie should have been better. This movie should have been better written. Particularly the two uh, brothers. Which, by the way, if you don't know their brothers within the first 15 minutes of this movie, then you aren't paying attention to any of the writing. Because all their dialogue is, hey, my brother, my brother, you're talking to my brother, this is my brother, 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 my brother. It's just them talking about being brothers, and they make a big deal out out of these beautiful women. Yes, these women are beautiful. Yeah. You, you had some eye candy, but but the eye candy for me w was not the women in bikinis. The eye candy was Lucy Hale, which, by, by the way, 
Not that I am r really complaining. Why are you going to just do a close up of her butt and not do a good job on focusing what you're supposed to be focusing on, which is the uh, the picture frame that she's holding, the picture frame she's holding and getting it out of her suitcase. No, you zoom in right there on her behind, and yeah, that's for the guys out there, and I, I'm a guy, I mean, hey, it's Lucy Hale, w one of the most gorgeous human beings that I've ever laid eyes on. I loved her in Pretty Little Liars. I, I liked her performance in this. But it was just her dialogue. Her acting could not save this. I've heard that she's horrible. I, I don't care. I will defend Lucy Hale on until the day I die. This movie is not going to tank her career. She she actually has a, a series coming out on the CW, which is a, a reboot of... of... Uh, no... Not a reboot, a spinoff of Riverdale, which I will try because it's Lucy Hale. I love Lucy Hale. She deserves better than this. This was like first draft dialogue. The jump scares were not even scary. If if this movie scares you and it, you're like 16 to my age, which by by the way, I, I, I know I look 16, 17. I'm actually 21. Uh, this movie is not scary. It's your generic jump scares with stupid characters. Two really good performances from Maggie Q, who's also in this, and Lucy Hale. I'm going to check the movie out when it comes to DVD and Blu-ray. The whole thing. I'm going to sit through the whole thing because I'm sure that there will be the unrated director's cut, which I'm hoping is the cut that was supposed to be released in theaters because you, you can tell that they wanted to have nudity in this. You could tell that they wanted to have sexual content in this. You can tell that they wanted to have gory violence in this gory, bloody violence because they shy away from cutting a girl's arm. This movie was complete garbage. You don't have the guts to make the movie you want to make because Sony wanted to just make a crappy PG-13 horror movie. Which PG-13 horror movies can be good. They can be good. This movie, however, is not very good at all. I'm not going to grade this. I'm just calling this video, I Walked Out of Fantasy Island 2020. I will do my actual review when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray in May or June. Which, maybe it will find its audience. I think that Sonic is going to make the most money at the box office. I do... Me and my buddy do regret our decisions. Our decision to uh, not see Downhill. Which I, I heard also, very, also isn't very good. But the movie that I saw Thursday night was Sonic the Hedgehog. That was so entertaining. It was so much fun. I was expecting it to be awful. Awful. The best movie that I saw this year that was a 2020 movie is Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, Little Women is a 2019 movie. 1917 is a 2019 movie. It's not a 2020 film. Those would be on, on my top lists. N number one and number two, but this movie is straight up awful. Do not support this movie. Do not see this movie. This is from the same... This feels like it was from the, from the same people who made Truth or Dare, which is a terrible movie. I loved Lucy Hale in it. Like I've said before, I will support Lucy Hale in whatever she does. I will see her movies, I will watch her TV shows, and I will support them. But when she's the best thing about it, and even her performance can't keep me in that theater... That's terrible. She's one of the main characters. What this movie is about is it's four people who go to Fancy Island, which is run by Michael Pena, and they are living out their fantasies. Whether it's getting revenge on a childhood bully, marrying, get, get, getting engaged to, marrying, and having a child with your person who you believe is the one. Finding your father and having a great time with beautiful women and 
in in the one guy's case, attractive guys, because one, one of the characters is gay. More more power to you, man. Congratulations. I hope you find happiness. This movie is awful. If I was going to grade this movie, which I'm not because I, I can't grade it. It's not fair. I didn't watch the whole movie. This movie is bad. You can expect my review this spring, late spring, early summer. See you guys next time for more movie reviews very, very soon and a DVD update.